Greetings, everyone. Welcome to our channel. In today's video, we'll be delving into the interesting fact of South Korea-North Korea conflict. Top 10 Most Interesting Fact About South Korea-North Korea Conflict The conflict between South Korea and North Korea is a complex and long-standing issue, filled with historical, political, and social intricacies. Here are 10 intriguing facts about this conflict. Number 10 Inter-Korean Summits Historical summits between leaders of North and South Korea, such as the 2018 Panmunjom Summit, have raised hopes for improved relations, though progress remains fragile. The Inter-Korean Summits are historic meetings between the leaders of North Korea, Democratic People's Republic of Korea, DPRK, and South Korea, Republic of Korea, ROC, aimed at improving relations and reducing tensions between the two countries. These summits have been pivotal moments in the often strained and tumultuous relationship between North and South Korea. One of the most significant summits in recent years was the 2018 Panmunjom Summit between Kim Jong-un, the leader of North Korea, and Moon Jae-in, the president of South Korea. This summit took place on April 27, 2018, at the Peace House in the border village of Panmunjom in the Demilitarized Zone, DMZ, that separates the two Koreas. The 2018 Panmunjom Summit was notable for several reasons. Symbolic Location The choice of the Peace House in the DMZ was highly symbolic, representing a neutral and historic location for the two leaders to meet. Diplomatic Breakthrough It marked the first time since the Korean War, 1950-1953, that a North Korean leader had crossed into South Korean territory. Agreements During the summit, both leaders signed the Panmunjom Declaration, which included significant agreements such as working towards a peace treaty to formally end the Korean War, reducing military tensions, increasing family reunifications, and pursuing economic cooperation. Positive Atmosphere The summit was characterized by a seemingly positive atmosphere. Number 9 Cyber Warfare both countries are known for their cyber warfare capabilities, engaging in hacking activities that target each other and other nations. Cyber warfare involves the use of digital attacks to disrupt, damage, or gain unauthorized access to computer systems, networks, or information. Several countries are known for their cyber warfare capabilities, engaging in hacking activities that target each other and other nations. Methods and targets. Espionage, stealing sensitive information, trade secrets, or intellectual property. Disruption, targeting critical infrastructure like power grids, financial systems, and communication networks to cause chaos or financial harm. Sabotage, manipulating or destroying data, causing physical damage through cyber means. Propaganda, spreading misinformation or influencing public opinion through social media and digital platforms. Implications. National security, cyber warfare poses a significant threat to national security potentially disrupting essential services and causing economic and societal damage. Global relations, cyber conflicts constrain diplomatic relations between nations, leading to escalating tensions and retaliatory actions. Economic impact, attacks on businesses and critical infrastructure can result in significant financial losses. Challenges. Attribution, it can be challenging to accurately attribute cyber attacks to specific nations due to the use of proxies, false flags, and advanced techniques. Legal and ethical issues, the lack of clear international laws governing cyber warfare complicates responses and raises ethical questions about the use of such tactics. Number 8 The Sunshine Policy, South Korea, in the past, pursued the Sunshine Policy, aimed at engaging North Korea through economic cooperation and cultural exchanges to foster peace and reconciliation. The Sunshine Policy was a significant diplomatic approach adopted by South Korea towards North Korea in the late 1990s and early 2000s. Initiated by President Kim Dae-yung, it aimed to improve relations between the two Koreas through engagement, cooperation, and dialogue rather than confrontation. Key aspects of the Sunshine Policy included Engagement over confrontation The policy was based on the idea of peaceful coexistence and aimed to reduce tensions between the two Koreas by fostering cooperation and communication. It sought to replace the long-standing hostility and mistrust with trust-building measures. Economic Cooperation one of the main strategies of the Sunshine Policy was to promote economic cooperation between North and South Korea. This involved initiatives such as the Kaesong Industrial Complex, a joint economic project where South Korean companies employed North Korean workers. Cultural exchanges, the policy encouraged cultural exchanges, humanitarian aid, and people-to-people -people contact between the two Koreas. This included events like family reunions for separated families, joint sports activities, and artistic exchanges. Diplomatic Dialogue The Sunshine Policy emphasized diplomatic efforts to engage North Korea in dialogue. 
This led to high-level talks and summit meetings between leaders of both countries, including the historic summit between Kim Dae-yung and North Korean leader Kim Jong-il in 2000. International Cooperation South Korea sought international support for the Sunshine Policy, engaging with countries like the United States, China, Japan, and others to promote peace and stability on the Korean Peninsula. Number 7 Economic Disparities South Korea has experienced remarkable economic growth, becoming one of the world's leading economies, while North Korea faces severe economic challenges, including food shortages and limited access to resources. The economic disparities between South Korea and North Korea are stark and stem from several historical, political, and economic factors. South Korea Economic Growth South Korea has undergone an extraordinary economic transformation over the past several decades. It emerged from the devastation of the Korean War, 1950-1953, to become one of the world's major economies. Industrialization and Technology South Korea has focused on rapid industrialization, investing heavily in technology, innovation, and export-oriented industries such as electronics, Samsung, LG, automobiles, Hyundai, Kia, and shipbuilding. Trade and Globalization It's embraced globalization, fostering trade relationships worldwide. This allowed it to become a key player in global supply chains. Education and Human Capital A strong emphasis on education and human capital development has contributed to a highly skilled and educated workforce. Stable governance and institutions Political stability and strong institutions have provided a conducive environment for economic growth. North Korea Isolation and Self-Reliance North Korea's economic model has largely been characterized by isolationism and self-reliance, focusing on heavy industry, military development, and centralized planning. This approach has led to limited interaction with the global economy. Political factors, the regime's policies, including prioritizing military expenditures and a centrally planned economy, have hindered economic growth and development. International sanctions, North Korea faces severe international sanctions due to its nuclear program and human rights abuses. These sanctions limit trade and economic interactions with other countries. Limited access to resources, natural resources and access to international markets are restricted due to sanctions, hindering economic development. Number 6 Nuclear Tensions North Korea's nuclear program has been a significant point of contention. The country has conducted several nuclear tests, leading to international sanctions and increased tensions in the region. North Korea's nuclear program has indeed been a major global concern for decades. The country's pursuit of nuclear weapons has triggered widespread international condemnation, leading to heightened tensions in Northeast Asia and beyond. History of North Korea's nuclear program. Development of nuclear ambitions. North Korea initiated its nuclear program in the 1980s, with the objective of developing nuclear capabilities despite being a signatory to the Nuclear Nonproliferation Treaty, NPT. Despite signing the NPT in the 1980s, North Korea later withdrew from the treaty in 2003, allowing it to pursue its nuclear ambitions without international oversight. Nuclear Tests North Korea conducted its first nuclear test in 2006, followed by subsequent tests in 2009, 2013, 2016, and 2017. Each test demonstrated advancements in their nuclear capabilities. These tests were met with widespread international condemnation and led to the imposition of strict sanctions by the United Nations Security Council and other nations. Technological Advances North Korea's nuclear program has showcased advancements in both nuclear weapon miniaturization and missile technology, raising concerns about its ability to potentially reach targets far beyond its immediate region. International Response United Nations Sanctions The UN, along with various countries including the US, South Korea, Japan, and others, impose numerous sanctions on North Korea to curb its nuclear ambitions. These sanctions targeted the country's economy, restricting trade and financial activities, aiming to deter further nuclear development. Diplomatic efforts. Several attempts at diplomatic negotiations have been made over the years to persuade North Korea to abandon its nuclear program. Talks involving regional powers and global stakeholders, such as the six-party talks, involving North Korea, South Korea, China, Japan, Russia, and the United States, aim to find a peaceful resolution, but progress has been limited. Number 5 Families Divided Many families were separated by the Korean War and have had no contact since. Reunions between family members from North and South Korea are rare and highly emotional events. Number 4 Propaganda War 
Both countries engage in extensive propaganda efforts directed towards each other's citizens, with loudspeakers, leaflets, and even giant electronic billboards across the DMZ used for messaging. Number 3 Ideological Differences North Korea follows the ideology of Juche, which emphasizes self-reliance and nationalism, while South Korea embraces democracy and a market economy. Number 2 Demilitarized Zone, DMZ The DMZ, a 2.5-mile-wide buffer zone, separates North and South Korea. It is one of the most heavily fortified borders globally and serves as a symbol of the division between the two nations. Number 1 Korean War, the Korean War, 1950-1953, between North and South Korea never officially ended. It was halted by an armistice agreement, not a peace treaty, leaving the two countries technically still at war. If you found value, entertainment, or information in our video content, we kindly encourage you to consider subscribing to our channel, as your support not only motivates us to create more engaging content but also ensures you stay updated with our latest releases and contribute to the growth of our community.